Congratulations, Mabruk. I wish you many more. I'm Jana Barnhouse, and I have lived in Saudi Arabia for 33 years now. I've actually lived in Saudi longer than I've lived in the United States, which is my home country. When I came to Saudi, I was a young woman, um, and I'm still a young woman, by the way. But when I came to Saudi as a young woman, I um, had no children at that point. Um, I came to Jeddah, worked at the school in Jeddah, the American school in Jeddah. And then our family um, started to grow. I now have two children. Uh, we moved to Dahran. I moved to Dahran about 30 years ago. I have seen the country change so much um, when I first came. In my 33 years in Saudi Arabia, I've seen education grow and change positively. We get so much support from the Ministry of Education to help us to continue to grow, to offer an excellent product to our students. Saudis have a reputation of being um, extremely hospitable, and I have been fortunate enough to be the recipient of that hospitality. There is definitely the Saudi warmness um, toward Westerners here in Saudi Arabia, and I've enjoyed that. Over the last three years in Saudi Arabia, there have been a lot of changes, and I feel very fortunate to be here and to see those changes in person. There are cinemas opening now, there are women driving. I'm driving now in Saudi Arabia. When I came 33 years ago, I didn't ever expect that to happen. And I feel very fortunate that I'm here seeing it firsthand. Tomorrow is Saudi National Day, and it's the 90th anniversary. I feel so fortunate to be here, to be able to go and celebrate with the people of Saudi Arabia. Um, I plan to be out. Actually, I'm traveling to Jeddah. Um, I will be on the Corniche in Jeddah celebrating with the Saudi people this 90th anniversary. I believe the government and the Ministry of Education has done an excellent job of keeping all of our students safe by supporting and giving us guidelines for virtual school. We have 6 million students and 500,000 teachers that are still getting an excellent education here in Saudi Arabia during the coronavirus pandemic. I appreciate the support that we get from the government so that we can do that.